Now more interesting cases are coming out and of course it is who hears it that will eventually say it the way it is. The jail has been invaded by the Nigerian forces and they're already on standby but they have not started shooting. They have not fired the first bullet. You know when they are fighting it is somebody that first push before the fight begins. But just like I said, that Tinubu will be making himself enemies to the North. And let him remember that it was the North who voted for him more. Even his own state did not vote for him. Most Yorubas did not vote for him. It was the Northerners that still voted for him. So making himself the enemies of the North, knowing fully well that he's already not love, he should be very, very careful. And think otherwise. Now, 52 members of the Coalition of Northern Groups (CNG) Coalition of Northern Groups have criticized the Economic Community of West African States Economic Community Community of West African States decision to send troops to Niger. In a statement released on Friday in Abuja by CNG spokesperson Abdul Aziz Suleiman, he said. We wrongly reject any preference for military actions against Niger or any other West African or African nation by any regional or international community or institution. Now, before I continue, people are crying profusely. Just like in Nigeria now, people are crying. People are seriously crying. And it is basically they by the help of so many politicians to step in and do the needful to stop these tears that so many people are already crying already we must advise that the politicians who are trying to keep their seats trying as much as possible to keep their corrupt seat should understand that a time has come or the time is coming when they will be victimized you see this new wake up of africa will really destroy so many politicians life it is it is time off for the west to control africans this time off it is still a time up and the earlier these people get to understand this the better for each and every one of us africans are rising a country is crying and saying that our president is stealing our our stuff our president is stealing our stuff he's taking it away he's consuming it he's making everything humanly possible to destroy our country because he wants to pay respect to the international president the u.s the france and the european countries and they are crying loud and saying that this thing cannot continue this thing cannot continue cannot continue to go on but in that sense some corrupt african presidents have decided to continue to you know max on and feel the need to stop Nigel because they are complaining that they need space. Now the Northern the Northern CNGs, that is, the Northern Coalition of Northern Groups, are saying that invading Nigel will be a big risk. When Tinubu will understand that invading Nigel is invading the North is when he fires the bullets. That is when he will understand the story. And we are not ready to go to war. We are not ready to go to war. Because eventually, it won't end well. It won't end well. These politicians have private jets. They're going to fly out. They're going to run. After causing problem, and when the problem is calm, they will come back to come and rule us again. So, you see, it is not getting funny. It is not funny at all. Now, it is very important for them to understand that the rules for bilateral relationships are based on the ideas of sovereignty 
promotion piece and legal interference. Because of this, the interference statement and actions in the affairs of the continent shouldn't be taken as evidence that Africans aren't trying to protect their people and keep order. It is important to get the attention of the whole international community and organization to think about the effects and consequences of destabilized West African sub-region, which will definitely raise the peace and security of all in Africa. So even those who claim that they are rich uh, uh, should understand that uh, the time will come when these poor masses will rise. By the time they rise, it will become a menace to the to the rich. So it's advisable that Tinimbu have a change of mind. Fighting your own neighbor is not flexing muscle. Had it been that this military do not have the support of the civilians, that is when you say you can invade and nothing will happen. They will even support you and clap for you for coming to rescue them. But you see this time around, the military has the support of the civilians. And that is what Tinibu needs to begin to ask himself. Tinibu ought to ask himself and know that it's no longer game as usual. It's no longer what's game as usual. If law and order breaks down, the security and humanitarian problems in the region like in Mali, Libya, ITC will get worse. This will make the continent even worse, hurt international corporations and add to the sad cases of human trafficking, migration and other problems that the continent and the rest of the world are having right now. So eventually, if they, if they should come in and say that uh, they want to come into Nigeria and somebody is stopping them or coming to Africa, they will go and meet their bosses or the selfish ones and say, see, one of our boys, they block us, so we're not going to give another fat envelope again, we better stop him. So those ones who can form a circle and recruit boys and ask those white people to pay them, then they go and fight the person that wants to help them get liberation. These things are getting out of hand. It is getting out of hand. We should understand that the Commonwealth <clears throat> is rising to fight these dictators who claim that they will continue to figure out one way or the other to finalize or to finish Africa entirely. This is not the point to be scared. So Tinibu must what return back the army and don't use our don't use our innocent young boys to go and start fighting nature. Don't waste our military lives because you want to secure the business of the Western world and you will not kill your brothers. Thanks for supporting the future news peace.